Arsenal Fan TV, look what just arrived. The brand new Arsenal Puma third kit. And uh, we're going to check it out to see just what it's made of. So let's check the third kit out. Get the packaging off like this. Three kits a year now, of course. And uh, this is it. This is the third kit. All that packaging over there. And there it is. The brand new Arsenal third kit. Now, it's never easy to come up with a third kit because um, if you're doing a home kit and you're doing it for Arsenal, we all know it's going to be red and white, white sleeves, traditional Arsenal colours. Away kit, we know it's going to be yellow, although this year Puma were very adventurous and went with a gold. But third kits are kits that basically the designers are sort of given a free reign to design a kit. And it's not always everybody's cup of tea. I remember last year's uh, kit, I really, really loved last year's kit, but there were some fans that are saying, you know, why is there that bit of green on it? And, you know, because you're kind of going against the traditional colours. So to get a third kit right is not easy for the designers. Always pretty difficult. But taking a look at this one, I don't mind it. I don't mind it at all. I mean, a lot of the sort of uh, leaks that first came out, the, the stripes are just sort of going down like that way. But I like the way they're sort of diagonal here. I really like that. Um, and I don't know, I like the blue. I like the dark blue. Uh, you've got a little bit of light blue trim here on the sleeve. And uh, Puma, of course, have gone very heavily for the gold look this year so you've got the gold puma embroidered gold puma embroidered there embroidered again on the sleeves on here and uh, this blue here starts off like a dark blue and then sort of fades into a light blue here and i don't mind light blue because i kind of like light blue as a color then of course you've got more gold here and the white here i don't know the significance of using these colors but as i said it's a third kit most interesting thing on this kit is the badge. Now, again, a bit of a bugbear of mine and some fans. It's not an embroidered badge. It's like a heat transfer badge. And as I said before, that badge won't come off in the wash, etc. So that's not the worry. It's just that we kind of preferred that, you know, embroidered badge. And I, as I said before, if they can embroider it with a Puma sign, I would have liked to have seen them embroider it on the badge. But it's not a major problem. But I like this badge. I like the gold um, on blue. And I, I really like this. That's a nice touch. And I really think it sort of, you know, brings the top out. Um, again, you've got underneath the arms here. Um, you've got that sort of, you know, to aid in the ventilation when you're sweating. And also across the top of the sleeves here. But that's the front of the kit. And I think it's fairly attractive. And as I said, third kits can be difficult. You know, you just got some fans, if it's not red and white with the white sleeves, they're against it. But kids, who are the ones who mainly buy these kids, I think are going to really like this one. Let's turn it over and take a look at the back. Well, not a lot happening on the back, but that's all good. Um, it's plain really on the black, just a pl uh, on the back, a plain dark blue, really dark blue. Um, again, you've got the trim there. Uh, on the sides, of course, you can see that the uh, stripes sort of come across on the back part. And then again, just like uh, the home kit and the away kit, it's got that sort of tapered bit at the bottom. But this time, instead of uh, it being a different colour to the rest of the kit, it's just straight blue all the way down. And I'll be honest with you, I wish they would have done that on the home kit. I would have preferred on the home kit if it had been... Um, red all the way down as well but that's sort of my own crit only criticism of the home kit but fairly plain on the back again you've got this uh, material on the back to aid with uh, when you start to sweat and you know it's plain on the back I suppose you can put your numbers on and uh, names on um, but it's just really a plain color all the detail really is in the front of the kit 
And as I said, I personally have no problem with it. I don't mind it. And as I said, um, I think it's a pretty smart kit. And yeah, I, I don't know what else much to say about it because as I said, third kits are kits that are always going to be different. I mean, you've seen Real Madrid have a pink third kit. You've seen other teams have, you know, all kind of different styles. But this one for me works quite well. The only thing I was thinking to myself today is that Arsenal basically have got three dark kits now. So surely that's going to clash when they're playing a lot of games because uh, say they went away to, um, I don't know, they're playing Chelsea. They can't wear this, can they? Um, definitely wouldn't be able to play wear this. The, the gold one would clash a bit. I mean, listen, I'm picking at straws there, but we've got basically three dark kits, whereas sometimes, uh, I suppose you could say like the yellow kit, um, you know, is a lighter kit. But three dark kits, but I really don't mind this kit at all. And as I said, my really, the thing that I really love about it, I love this gold badge, and I love the gold feel of all the kits this season. I love that gold thing. I'm just hoping that the team, right, can turn that gold into real gold on the pitch. But there you have it, the Arsenal third kit. I like it. I definitely like it. Um, what do you guys think of the third kit? Leave your comments below. Um, would you buy this kit? Do you think that um, Puma have made a good job of this? Leave it in the comments below. Let us know what you think about the third kit. And um, yeah, it's out right now. I did hear somebody say earlier that you said Spurs might finish second. Yeah, it might do. From bottom, is it? <laughs> so, that's good. No, fair play. Uh, yeah, we could do. And like I said, Newcastle nearly won the league with uh, you know then fifteen yeah, points clear. No, stranger things have happened. Time, a different Robbie, time. Robbie, stranger things have happened. No, it's a different time. And Harry Kane, you know, I mean, he, he was brilliant last year. I'll give him. I'll give him that. He's a gooner, and he played really well, right? <laughs> but 